Hey parents of high school students, my name is Tim and I'm the high school pastor here at the 410 campus of Wayside. Thanks for joining me for our virtual parent update. Our parent updates are usually made of two parts. Uh, part one is just an opportunity to see each other face to face, see what's going on with your family, with you and your students. Because that can't be done with video, I'm going to be available in the courtyard at 410 immediately after the 11 o'clock service on Sunday, January 10th. I would love it if you'd stop by, say hi. We can have an exterior extended conversation or it could just be a quick chat, but I'd love to just get to have some face-to-face -face time with you for a few minutes on that Sunday. So I'll be there available. Part two of our parent get-togethers is what's going on with high school ministry. So a couple of basics about high school ministry for, for those who might be new or watching this for the first time. As a ministry, we want students to echo Christ in every single thing they do. Uh, we want everyone to be more like Jesus. But we also want to be a second voice to parents. What this means is whatever you are sharing in terms of wisdom, in terms of biblical truth with your kids at home, we want to echo those same principles. We want to be another voice in their lives saying the exact same thing. It helps them listen, it helps them hear. I love those moments where I hear students say, my mom told me the same thing. And I'm going, yes, she did, listen to her. So Sunday morning is our large group format with large group teaching and, and group activities, a lot of interaction and fellowship. We do that here at 9.15 on Sunday mornings in the high school room upstairs at 4.10. And that said, for the, uh, for the spring period, we will be focusing on uh, several different studies. We're going to be doing a several different lesson series. Um, we're in the middle of a series right now called Salt and Light. And we're digging into Matthew 5 and talking about what Jesus said about who his followers are supposed to be and how they can make an impact on the world around them. And after that, we're going to be going into a series on dating, sex, and all that kind of stuff called God's Design where we'll be looking at those topics and, and living life and living those things according to what God has called us to do, not according to what the world says or what we want, but instead according to God's design. After that, we're going to cover cool stories from the Bible, cover some theology as we look at the resurrection during uh, Easter time, and we'll follow that up with a study of Psalms, which should take us through May. Reverb is our Wednesday small groups based on grade and sex. And for Reverb, we're going to be adjusting slightly in a couple of ways. First off, Reverb is officially going to last from 7 to 8.15. Previously, we were done after an hour. For the last you know, fall, we were done in an hour. But this is going to give us 15 more minutes for more developing of relationship, asking deeper questions, hearing what's going on in students' worlds, and basically just an opportunity to do ministry. Uh, the second major adjustment is it's small but it's important. Uh, we're going to be changing some of our curriculum, not what we're studying, but how we're going to be studying it. Uh, the freshmen will be studying First and Second Timothy, the sophomores will look at the book of John, the juniors Exodus, and the seniors will study Hebrews. Now our goal with just kind of changing how we study these things is to have the students read the whole book or books in the case of the freshmen and really dig in heavy with one chapter each week. We're going to be using some inductive Bible study methods and, and, and really trying to dig in deep to the passage. This way students learn the tools to study scripture for, for their life. It's important for them, but also an opportunity to study a book of the Bible together. And then after that, we'll be having breaks throughout the semester, um, and we'll be moving into some other studies that are similar to the curriculum we've used in the past. And, uh, but we're going to have uh, different pauses along the way because it is a long semester. So on March 3rd and April 7th, we're still going to be meeting, uh, but we won't be doing the studies as each grade has been doing that have been focused on. Instead, we'll be moving to doing some other things and, and, and focus on some other things to that night and may just be team building kind of things. Uh, we'll be off the week of spring break on March 10th. And on May 5th, we will wrap up the semester with a big reverb celebration. So at this point... Sundays and Wednesdays are going to be our main focus. We are in a holding pattern regarding any spring events beyond our weekly events. Mission trips are on hold for right now. Uh, we hope to have something scheduled, but at least right now we are in the holding pattern there as well. Our focus continues to be giving students a safe place. Safe meaning they're comfortable with those around them and and 
give them an opportunity to be real about what's going on in their world, no matter what that is. We want them to be challenged to grow wherever they are in their relationship with Christ. If it's having never actually trusted in Jesus all the way up to a, a serious, deep commitment, we want them to be challenged to grow and take the next step in their faith. And we want them to be like Jesus and we want them to serve. We want to give them opportunities. So we are focused on creating the environment where they can do these things. I want you to know that I am available. Please don't hesitate to call me, email me, tweet me, Instagram me. I'm available. I'd love to go get coffee, hang out, spend some time together and talk about what's going on. Any way I can support you as a parent of teenagers, I want to be able to do that. Thanks for watching this. Thanks for entrusting this ministry with your kids. It is the greatest blessing of my life to be able to do this, and I am thankful for time to be able to spend with your students and, and, and attempt to make an impact in their world. I want to encourage you also to check out a ton of other videos that we have on this website, on this, on this YouTube channel, um, from parenting info to lessons for students, even some videos that are just there to make you laugh. So check it all out. Put tons of content here. Again, thank you, and hopefully I'll see you even for just a few minutes on January 10th. Thanks.